Today I'm making insect sculptures. I'm using a lot of different materials. I have some recycled things like a coffee filter and some beads and pipe cleaners. An insect has three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They also have eyes, antenna, and six legs. I'm going to use one pipe cleaner and three beads to create the body. I bend my pipe cleaner in half, and if you look at the beads, they have different shapes and sizes, but I want to slide one of the, I don't want this long one, I learned, because I have to turn it sideways, and that doesn't look quite right. Right, my pipe cleaner's not working there. So I'm gonna pick a smaller bead and slide it down. You can see this one is a little bit more narrow when I turn it sideways. So I'm gonna put my pipe cleaner through, so that the bead is right in the middle, and then I'm gonna bend it up. And I like to twist it so that the bead stays kind of snug. I want my students to kind of play and explore as they make this project and see which shapes work best and what order you wanna put your beads in and how you wanna design your insect. So this is supposed to be kind of exploring the materials today. I don't want my end bead to slide off, so I'm kind of pulling down on my pipe cleaners to hold it in place, and then I can kind of bend it to create more of my um, antenna shape. I also like to twist it so that it can't slide off. Now I'm going to use my pipe cleaners to create my legs. These are pretty easy to cut, especially for fifth grade. Be careful because there is wire in there, so I don't want anyone to get poked. But I'm going to cut three pieces and they're going to turn into my three pairs of legs. I bend the piece of pipe cleaner in half and then I put it in between my beads, kind of like a joint in between those two and twist it, I like to twist three times, and then I kind of shape it and bend it so it goes down, like the legs would, and I like to give it little knees or elbows and feet, and that'll help it balance later. And then I repeat, I like to put two sets of my legs in between the head and the thorax. So again, I bent it in half, and then I'm just twisting it underneath, and then I kind of shape the knees and the feet. When I was testing this out and making my example, I used a coffee filter to create a set of wings. And I added them to my body by twisting the pipe cleaner around and then putting them over the top between the beads and wrapping it just like I did the legs earlier. But as I played around with this material, I wasn't really happy with it. So I'm going to make sure my students have coffee filters and they can experiment with this. But I also decided to try some other materials and see which would be more successful. So you can see here, this coffee filter is just not working for me. And I think it's important to show that, that this is part of the artist process. 
We use different materials. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So I've taken my coffee filter off, I've gone back to my beads, and I'm gonna experiment a little bit with fused beads because these are just the nice size to use to add a little pattern and color to my antenna. I have to leave a little room at the end of the pipe cleaners to bend them in and make a little shape so that it will hold my beads on. This also makes sure that that pointy end of the wire isn't out and exposed. I really like my beetle just the way it is, but I know that some of you are going to want to add wings, so I'm still trying to figure out the best way to add wings. This is a little piece of cardstock, so I'm cutting and shaping that. I'm going to try bending it and seeing if I can attach it with just some tape. That just didn't look right to me either. So then I went back to my lovely coffee filters and just cut the shapes of the wings and tried taping those. Yeah, I don't know. This is not working for me, friends. I tried using the teeniest, tiniest piece of tape I could make so it wouldn't stand out, but it's just not looking right to me. I'm gonna keep trying. So this is what I have so far. I've got my coffee filter wings. I tried attaching them with pipe cleaner. I thought about using my cardstock. I think I'm gonna try one more time.
I have a sneaky suspicion that when my students do this project, they're gonna come up with a bunch of solutions that I never even thought of. So I'm hoping that this will be a fun experiment and I can't wait to see what everyone creates. I also made one more set of wings and I found that if I used the cardstock and I made a narrow space in the center, that I could attach them with the tape a little bit better. And then Rezzy ate it.